Take one. <coughs> one eternity later. Hi, I'm Eliza and welcome to the project. From the title of the video, I think you already have an idea of what this is going to be about. But honestly, I feel that I created this video more for myself than for anyone else because if you come to think of it, there is really not much content on this video, but it will still allow me to watch myself and see how I am in front of the camera in terms of my body language, the way I speak and all that stuff. And what a better way to do that than to create a video where I would be able to share with you what the project is and why I created it. But before I get on with that, let me first give a quick shout out to a friend of mine who also just started this YouTube channel. Hi Mikey aka Boy George. I don't know if you are watching this video but I do hope and wish you well. I will be displaying my friend's YouTube channel right over here. Finally, Mikey, I am able to do this first video where everyone can see my face and I don't really know what to expect but here I am. Anyway, for you who is also currently watching me, I would like to invite you to visit my friend's YouTube channel. Watch his videos that are very fun, very practical. By watching his videos, you might get an idea or two if you also want to start taking care of some livestock, doing some side businesses, discovering new hobbies, or doing some farming, and maybe you get inspired as well to live in the province because most of his contents are showing you how it is to live in the province and how convenient it actually is during this pandemic. Visit his channel, don't forget to watch his videos, of course, and lastly, subscribe to his channel by clicking on that subscribe button and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So, I guess it's time. Let me get started. What is Le Proj? As French as it may sound, Le Proj is actually just short for Liza Española Projects. And I decided to create this channel during this time of the pandemic, not only because Manila is in a community quarantine for... Guess what? what? Six months now! Yes, we are in a community quarantine for six months now and I'm so thrilled about it. I'm so happy. No, I'm not. So yes, I decided to create this channel not only because I'm bored, but also because I am hopeful that I would be able to share something positive or at least interesting to the community that hopefully I get to create on this channel. And I feel that I would be able to do that by sharing my own interests as well on photography, travel, which I know we don't get to do a lot these days, but you know what? Miracles do happen every day. So let's not stop hoping that everything will be better, especially for us here in the Philippines, particularly in Metro Manila, the center of it all. If you are like me who had been stuck here in the city for the past six months and even up until now that we are already on GCQ, you probably know what I mean when I say that I really am hoping that the Philippines can finally flatten the curve for real. But until then, let's do our best to to help the Philippines make this situation better. Is that possible? Write down in the comment section. So what else do I want to share with you? Um, <clears throat> I probably am sharing with you the journey that I am about to take in terms of taking care of my health even more. I know that if you are a friend of mine on Facebook or if you are following me on Instagram, you do know that I really am into fitness. But then the fourth month, of community quarantine happened and I was like, where are we going? I felt really anxious. That took a toll on my mental and emotional health. I got really unmotivated to do anything. I got really lazy. When this whole community quarantine started back in March, I thought that it will be over by July. Unfortunately, that is not what happened. It is pretty ironic because when all of this community quarantine started back in March, there were a lot of articles saying that this pandemic and the community quarantine will greatly affect the mental health of people. And I was like, mm, 
no, I'm not gonna be one of those people because I am an only child. I'm used to not having a lot of people around me. Being isolated is a good thing for me. I mean, I get to have my own space. I am living alone now for three years, so it will just be a walk in the park kind of thing. It will be very easy for me. And obviously, that's not what happened. When the fourth month of community quarantine started, I stopped doing the things that promotes that happy hormones, quote unquote. I don't know if you <laughs> feel the same way, but if you do, write down a comment and we'll have a talk. So yes, I am about to take that journey again to reclaim the body weight that I lost. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't really know anymore but maybe anything and everything that brings sunshine and roses into my life I hope to also inspire you in finding what you love going after the passion of yours that you're trying to put off for quite some time now just like what I am currently doing or maybe you are also just like me who wants and chooses to see the world every day in a better light despite everything that is happening around us I think that that is all that I really want to say about Luproj. So by now you probably know what it means. It is just a Laiza Española project. It's that simple and why I created this channel. But before I end this video, I also would like to take this opportunity to thank the people who have supported me ever since I started doing all of this. And first on that list, of course, is my family. Most especially my parents, Mama and Papa. I am really happy that I am your daughter. I couldn't ask for more. And I know that it is part of a parent's responsibility to take care of their daughter or their children, especially me, that I am your only child. But I still want you to hear it from me that I am so thankful and grateful for all the sacrifices that you have done just to make sure that I get to live an easy life growing up and even up until now all the advices that you are sharing. Thank you so much for the love and I love you, I miss you and I hope to really see you soon. I mean I really miss the province, I miss the laid-back life there and the fresh air. Second, I would like to say thank you to those people who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Also to those people who have liked and followed my Facebook page. It just warms my heart to know that even if I didn't send any Facebook invite yet to anyone to like the Facebook page, there are people who liked it and followed it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think thank you is such an overrated word on this portion of my video, but that is what I really feel. So I hope that you allow me to do that. I really am just grateful. Lastly, I would like to recognize the person who actually gave me the idea that I do vlogging in order to help me manage with the anxiety and that feeling of self-doubt that I was having because of everything that has been happening and that is my partner, Mr. Lizardo. Uh, thank you so much for being the rock in my life, for always reminding me not just to be physically strong but most importantly to be mentally and emotionally strong thank you for the patience that you have shown me in the past couple of months due to a lot of tantrums and emotional breakdowns that i was having thank you for <clears throat> the support of course uh and see you in a few days and yeah i'll just message i'll just dm you what i really want to say but you know you know how i feel about you already I guess that's all that I really have to say for this video. But if you are still watching me up until this point, then we both probably know that you pretty much are interested on this channel and with me and with what I have to share. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button. If you want to get notified on the new videos that I will be uploading on this channel, please do click that bell button as well. If you do like this video and all the other videos that I have already uploaded and will be uploading on this channel, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And lastly, one of the things that I really look forward to why I created this channel is in order for me to be able to communicate with somebody out there from different walks of life in different parts of the world that is considering that my channel will grow really big what I'm trying to say is if you can write a comment in the comment section 
of my videos, whatever that may be. Hopefully it is a positive one though. Even if it is just actually a simple greeting, like a conversation starter, like how, hi Eliza, how are you? What are you doing? What are your plans in your life? Or something like, Kamusta na? Anong ginagawa mo? Anong mga ganap po sa buhay? Or maybe, maybe, if you really do know me personally, like ever since I was a toddler or a little girl, then you probably will start with Hi Eliza, te, kamusta ka na da? Nalipay ka man? Sa ginahimok mo, nalipay ka man sa YouTube channel mo. Tani makakita na ita, tani makastoryahan na ita. Or base, may arak ka man da YouTube channel na gusto mo mag-collaborate kita na doa. I will gladly do that. So, write down a comment in my videos, okay? Don't forget about that. And yes, that is actually hiligay nun. That is the language. Ilongo is a term that is used to describe the people that are living in the Western Visayas region. And to anyone who is an Ilongo, and if I did not describe it correctly, please do write in the comment section the correct description of the Ilongo word. So, if you are referring to the language or the, to the dialect that we are using in the Western Visayas region, we are using Hiligaynon, not Ilongo. I just used the Hiligaynon dialect because I am a proud Ilonga. I was born and raised from the city of Smiles, Pacolod City, Negros Occidental, in the Philippines. So my videos will definitely not just be in pure English or Tagalog, but I am 110% certain that I will be speaking a little bit of Hiligaynon somewhere sometime on my videos so I do hope that you watch out for that. For the meantime, thank you for watching this video. I hope I got your interest on this channel and with me so don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos but until then take care, God bless, um, stay healthy and most importantly stay safe. Goodbye everyone, see you again.